Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I am talking about Only Murders in the Building, season number two, episode number four. Here's looking at you. It's all directed by Jude Wing. And in this episode here, we get introduced to um um Charles's um stepdaughter, Lucy, who is a great addition to the cast. I, I did not think that was coming. First of all, I when she in, in, introduced her, they, they it, I, I wish they I wish they kept her on the show longer. Because as soon as she got on the show, they were already getting rid of her. I mean, I understand why he did it. I mean, he he he's an investigator for 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 a crime he didn't commit. Um, evidence of, of the crime of, of the murder keeps popping up inside of his apartment. Somebody's after them. He didn't want his daughter to die, so so he sent her away. Totally get it. But she was the, the thing is though, there was so much to her story that they, they, they could have explored. Um, and, and how she was an addition to the team and how she helped out and, and helped them find the clues was like was amazing. The funny part about this was the whole thing with her and Mabel. Now Mabel is is played by um Selena Gomez, and she's the youngest of the group. She's she's the baby, compared to them two, she's the baby. So you got Charles not trying to relate to his to his to his daughter, to his stepdaughter here, but he he but he he he, he had a hard time understanding everything she's saying with the slangs and stuff she that she thing that she uses. So he went to Mabel to say, "Can you translate for me? Because I don't understand everything she says, and I'm confused. So can you help me?" And then you got Mabel saying, "Oh, I got this old man, <laughs> these old people." And then when she started talking to Lucy, she realized, "Oh no, I'm old now." <laughs> The look on her face when that girl started talking, and she started saying, "Uh oh, I don't know all the terms she's saying. I don't get her. I got some of this. Oh no, am I am I old? Am I old now?" And then, and she and she, and she started calling for them for help to help her with this girl. It was a funny. It was a funny. The funny moment there. It's funny because because you, you just don't see um Mabel being like confused by my young talking. You because most time the young people on the show are like around her age. And now she's getting to a point that which now she now she can't, now she has a hard time leading to people younger than her. I just oh no, like, oh, oh no, oh no. But so you have that family dynamic going on there. Then you have what's going on with um with Nathan Lane's character Teddy. He's back on the show, and he he ran in with Oliver, and they had an interesting conversation, which was very intense and very intimidating. But seeing it was but even though what he did to Oliver is really messed up. You see how relationship he has with his with his son, how this trial is kind of affecting their lives, and it, it caused them to split and separate. And this is, this is hurting him because he does love his son. He wouldn't do anything for his son, and to have his son reject him like this, he feel like he has nothing left now. I mean, his life is almost ruined. He, he I'm not sure he didn't have a career anymore. All he does, all he had was his son left, and now that's that's broken. And that's now he, it, it was, I felt kind of sorry for him, even though he he, he is, the, is kind of like the bad guy of the group. You actually do feel sorry for him, and and, and watching and Oliver watching this situation, and his, he has his own son who was at, asking for him, him for help, even though it was with the school play. He was kind of brushing brushing him off, and then he realizing, dude, I, I never. I don't have I don't have all the time in the world, and I'm the one, I'm my son. That I, I always I always want to be part of my son's life, and there's a brush him off like that. What am I doing? And so it makes him make that, it that situation. But because of what's going on with Lucy and with it, it, which, which I wish I could say which, which they could have explored, but her help helped them um find that that Nina was actually a good guy the whole entire time. That she's not actually the bad guy, even though evidence made it look like she was going that direction. Because you got because because um. The older woman, the older woman, she was gonna take her place. She refused not to. Then she ended up dying. And then Nina's idea of putting like a freaking whatever that thing is on top of the roof of the building, like this. What are you doing? But say, hey, okay. But you find out she's not the bad guy. So that's a, that's a plus. So the mystery is still going forward. A lot of twists and turns in here. New character, new characters get introduced, which I I really didn't enjoy. That's the, that's the only part of the episode I didn't like. The fact that they, they, they sent Lucy away. I mean, I understand why they did it. I, I, it makes perfect sense for the show, but at the same time, because she was so helpful and the chemistry she had with Martin, um, with her father, and, and the chemistry they had between one, one, one another was actually great. And I really, I wish they just kept on showing. Just a couple more episodes, they, 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 then they could have sent her away. But oh well, it is what it is on on that point. And then having um, Nathan Lane come, his character come back on the show, Teddy, adds more attention to the plot as well too. Because now, because 
they already got some people playing evidence in the house. They already already found out that people that somebody can actually watch them inside their building because because the man who designed the place was a little bit of a peeping tom and he went he had to spy on people and so now you got somebody else who's on the outside spying on them and trying to get revenge. Now you got to figure out who's actually doing it. You know, we, we know it's not Nina anymore. Could it be Teddy? Or he said he's going to mess them up. So could it, could this be the way? I, I don't think it is, but I, I, I leave it open for now. I don't, I don't think I don't think Teddy actually is the guy. He could just be saying that, just be just, just, just saying that, or it, it could be something that he actually is got being, something he actually is going to try to screw them over. Who, who knows? But overall, great episode. Funny as always. The chemistry between um, Charles, Mabel, and, and Oliver is also very interesting as well, too. And now, all, and also, and another interesting part on the show is you got Charles starting, start, started filming his new, his new um, TV, started filming his TV show again as um, Brazos, but at the same time, because of the murder investigation going on around him, they're too scared to fully commit to him, so they want to make him like have dementia and in a wheelchair. So just in case, he, he, the case goes the opposite direction where he goes to jail, they're gonna just kill him off the show, which is so messed up, <laughs> so messed up. Like if I don't own the show, just to just to just to put him in the back seat, and then also now he all the community on the chopping block, just in case, just in case the, the case goes the other way. So what they're gonna do now? And let's say. He actually, if I know he actually, because he, he is innocent. Let's say that the case goes in the direction he finds like he's innocent. Are they going to rewrite everything again? Just saying he's not, he doesn't have dementia anymore. He's not in a wheelchair. What are they going to do? What are they going to do about that? With that plot, they already started it like that way. So we'll, we'll see what happens there. But overall, another great episode. We're really going to enjoy it a whole lot. Leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Only Murders in the Building. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend this show. It's a, it's a very fun show. And so ch check it out for yourself. If you have seen it, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about it. So give my channel, give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, boop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would really appreciate it. Also, link down below to show other social media. You want to follow me there? Thank you. I would appreciate appreciate that. Also, to my store where I sell merch, you could buy some stuff. If you do, I, I appreciate that a whole lot. So like I always say, in my dreams and my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.